Today's video contains a paid partnership with Power of My People, a slow fashion brand I've known and loved for years. I've been so excited to share this video with you guys because today I'm going to walk you through my spring capsule wardrobe 2022. So as you know, I'm on a no buy challenge for this year with a few core exceptions, which you can read all about over on my website. And so this time around, I've had to take the whole shopping my own wardrobe even more literally than I would usually do. So let's just rewind a bit. Let's start from scratch. So if you don't know how to build a capsule wardrobe or how to even get started, I'm going to link an article for you right here, which I wrote a while back. In my opinion, it's a really hands-on guide with everything you need to know to get started. So I've always got either my phone or computer right beside me with some inspiration that I've gathered up through the years, mainly from Pinterest or Instagram. So this time around, I've of course turned to my spring summer board on Pinterest to get kind of in the mood for this season and to get some more ideas on the overall vibe and the outfits I feel in the mood for wearing. Once that is all a little bit more clear, I'll have a look through my storage boxes to again shop my own wardrobe. So the items here are all from previous seasons. Some are way old, like up to 10 years. Others might be just from last year. So it's all a little bit mixed. After that, I'll start emptying my wardrobe, not completely, but since we're switching from winter to spring, for example, I'll definitely store away a few of my heavier jumpers. And so that's the whole essence of having a capsule wardrobe, to only have items you can actually wear right now in front of you to make getting dressed way more effortless. Once I've picked out some things from storage, I always try them on to see how I feel and just to give me some ideas on how to style them. So like I just mentioned before, today's video is made in collaboration with the slow fashion brand Power of My People. It's a Canadian brand that I got to know around four years ago where I actually first got my hands on one of their beautiful linen shirts. I'm of course talking about my black short sleeve linen shirt, which is called the Philosopher in the Wayward Fit. So it's a really lovely, timeless kind of shirt, which you can style in so many different ways. If you followed me for some years, you would have seen me wear this shirt almost every single spring and summer since 2008. So it really is a great basic that just never seems to go out of style and the quality of it is just impeccable. So even though this is an older design, this is still one of the shirts you can get your hands on from Power of My People, which I personally think is amazing. I love when a brand makes core collections like these where the focus is not to constantly push out new releases and trends, but actually make good quality and timeless clothing that you can buy and love for years. I also have this blue linen shirt from them, which they sent me a couple of years ago now. They don't have this exact shirt anymore, but they do have a rather similar one on site and that blue color is just perfect for spring, I think. So in case you're looking for some great quality and responsibly made shirts or basics in general, make sure you check out Power of My People. I do have a discount code for you guys as well, which I'll put on the screen right here and down below, which you can use on any item from their online store. So this season I'm definitely in the mood for wearing more colors. Ever since becoming a color consultant last year, I just feel so much more confident in choosing and combining colors. And yeah, to my surprise, I did actually have quite a handful of great colors in my storage already. That goes really well with my all year basics just to add in a pub of fresh colors. My little swatch wallet is a handy tool to help me settle on a color palette. This is something that you can buy when you book a color consultation with me. So with this, I make sure that I mainly stick with my best colors to fit my color type. I have a habit of always wearing monochromes, which I do still love more than anything, don't get me wrong. But like I mentioned, I feel way more confident actually wearing colors these days as well. So after going through my storage, I usually spend the next couple of days curating my wardrobe further before settling on how I want it to be for the coming season just to again see how I feel this time around I also noted any items I need to mend and take extra care of whether that is items I am going to store away or items I'll be wearing this season so first off I did feel a bit overwhelmed after the first round of curating when I first did the switch over to spring so I actually ended up putting a few more items into storage just because a few of them were a bit too summery for now I like not having more than around 35 to 40 items in my wardrobe per season. That's a really good amount for me because it means I'll actually get to wear what I have and I also um, don't feel overwhelmed by choices. 
Once I'm fully settled on my capsule wardrobe, I'll steam everything so it looks nice and it's all ready to wear. I'll create my visual wardrobe overviews, which I usually share with you guys on my socials, like my website and on Pinterest. If you don't have Photoshop or any of those programs, you can of course use apps like Clapwell or Stylebook. Both of these are apps that specialize in visual wardrobe overviews and provide you with outfit ideas, which is perfect for a capsule wardrobe. Now, if you followed me for some time, you'll know that I don't count things such as loungewear, underwear, etc. into my main capsule wardrobe. So essentially, my capsule wardrobe is all the things I wear for work and on a daily basis. So all of the things that I tend to wear the most. I also like to part my capsule wardrobe into around 80% all year basics that pretty much stay the same all through the year. Then I have around 20% which are my key pieces for the season. So usually these will be items from storage that fit the season. Um, the weather and my mood for that specific season. So during winter that would be more knitwear for example and during summer that would be something like dresses and sandals. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through my spring key pieces for this season. So first up we have this lovely blue shirt which I showed you earlier which is from Power of My People and then these cropped white leg jeans which I think are perfect for spring and summer. They look cute both with sneakers, boots, sandals and espadrilles and I'm just all about these light blue colors at the moment, especially for spring. The shirt can also be worn as kind of a light jacket, so layers is a really great way to create some interest and in wearing your shirt this way is a great way to maximize your wardrobe further. So here I've simply styled it with some of my all year basics and this is quite a casual but chic look I think. Next up is this old blush pink shirt, which I've had for I think around five years. Some of you might recognize it if you're regulars here on my channel. I haven't worn it for quite some time, but again, especially now that I'm getting more into wearing colors again and the fact that I do think it suits my color type quite well, I've just fallen in love with it all over again. Another item I dug out from storage is my beige biker jacket. I bought this pre-loved a couple of years ago and although I do also love my classic black biker jacket to bits, it's nice to sometimes push the boundaries a bit and try wearing some other just as wearable alternatives to black. I also ended up taking out my cute skirt from last year. This is from Armed Angels and it's a lovely skirt that you can dress up and down in so many ways, both for work and special occasions. So now I'll definitely wear it with boots and knitwear until the weather really starts warming up more and then I'll wear it with basic shirts and t-shirts, sneakers and sandals when it starts getting warmer. Next up we have my leather pants which are another secondhand find from last year. I want to get all the wear out of these I can before it gets too hot. I think they're so cool. They always just add a bit of an edge to any outfit, making it all a little bit more interesting and personal. Then we also have my dusty olive shirt, which is another lovely basic, but just in a spring color that I've already gotten tons of wear out of. The next item is of course my beloved short sleeve linen shirt from Power Of My People. As mentioned earlier, this has been such a staple for me the past four spring and summers. You can wear it with jeans, skirts, shorts, anything really. And because it's made in linen, it's just really nice and breezy and breathable for those really hot spring and summer days as well. Then we've got my light blue blazer. And again, a blazer is such a staple for me all year round. So it's nice to have a version in a light color that is perfect for spring and summer, something to add some lightness while being perfect for my soft, cool, light color type. Last but not least, this teal colored t-shirt is relatively new from the end of last year. I just haven't worn it yet because I wanted to wait for the spring season. So again, here we have another one of those basic items, but just an updated season specific color. I think this color is lovely for spring and it's a nice way to give my basics a pop of fresh color while still making sure it's easy to style and that it will fit seamlessly into my basic wardrobe. So there you have it guys, my final spring capsule wardrobe for 2022. A little bit more colorful than what I would usually go for, but I really like it and I'm excited to start wearing all of these items. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be more spring outfit ideas coming for you very soon. So do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram for many more spring outfit ideas and general styling tips. A huge thank you to Power Of My People for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget you can get 15% off their entire online shop with the discount code down below. 
with that thank you all so much for watching take care and i'll see you very soon for another video bye guys